Joey, according to the detention center chief, Tommy Ramirez, the two girls were not part of the incarceration unit. They had just been placed in a new, less restrictive program at the facility just one month ago. Being locked up is tough, especially if you're a kid. Yesterday, two girls escaped from the Daryl Hester Detention Center in San Benito. They had just returned to the facility when they jumped out of the van and took off running. They were caught just blocks down the road. They just made a really poor decision. The girls are the newest additions to the facility's life program. A lot of nurturance. Yeah, that's what makes it so unique from everything else. You know, we have a boot camp that we run. Of course, it's very strict. It can be very harsh. Uh, try, a lot of tough love going on. This concept is a lot more, so much more treatment oriented. In the LIFE program, the girls are allowed to go to school, participate in community service and events. In fact, they spend most of the time outside. They just come back to the dormitory style lodge to sleep there. These doors don't even have locks. We have success stories. We give them the tools to help them be a little more successful when they get out there and they're having to make decisions when they're amongst their peers and such. Chief Tommy Ramirez tells Action 4 these girls were given an opportunity to have privileges many in the incarceration unit do not and now must face the consequences of their actions. The girls were placed in the incarceration unit after they were brought back to the center and Ramirez says he doesn't foresee any policy changes in the life program because it would not be fair to punish the other girls who've benefited from it. The whole point is for the teens to gain the jailer's trust. Live in the studio, Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.